So another today, I want to show you how to do a sleep bun. And what we did first was I just prepped Heather's hair with the grated plate mousse. And it adds volume to the hair, so you see it. And also, when, when I pull her hair back into the bun, this will help the pins be secure and not slide out because Heather has fine, beautiful, virgin hair and it's very slippery and it's clean stained. So this is what we do to like oomph up the hair a little bit and make sure that the, uh, that the bun holds. I think I'm just going to part it a little bit more to the side. And sometimes when I do my side parts, I make them as they come to the back, come more to the center. Because if you're going to slick it down, if you go too much to the side, sometimes there's cowlicks there that bump up in a weird way. So, and if there was a center party, you would look, um, go back into the ponytail much easier. So we kind of cheat that a little bit. And the front looks like a side part. But as we go back, it comes towards the center. And so I want to put a little bit of the gloss up polishing cream because this is going to help me really sleep down Heather's hair and not make it flat afterwards anyway because this is a volume cream which is I created because usually when people put cream in their hair it weighs their hair down and that is a no-no. <laughs> so this makes sure that you're ready to get away from it. a bit in my hands. And then start putting it around the edges to make sure we get all the little hairs. And then on the top part. What's most important is really to get the top layer to make sure that when you put the hair back into the bun, it's really nice which we're going to also do later with the hairspray and make it really perfect. So now that I've got the cream in the hair, I'm going to take my brush. Um, just a battle brush with some bristles and make some piercing. And I'm going to start making a round motion around Heather's head. the nape of her neck. And once I've got all the hair in place, I'm going to use a crochet hook elastic. It looks like this. It has a hook on each side and you just hook it into the hair and then wrap it around. But you make sure that when you wrap around the second part, it's on the bottom side of the hook. Because if not, your hook will slide out of the hair. And this really gives a very secure ponytail that is not going to move. Now Heather's hair is in a ponytail and I'm going to take a teasing brush and it looks kind of like this. You can also use a toothbrush actually with, as long as it has like boar bristles and they're not plastic. And so I, I just, it's a little trick I do and I spray the, the tip and then I go and I start to just tame the hairs around the hairline. And like you see all these loose hairs, you'll get them all to look really neat. And then I can go and the rest of the head and spray it and just slightly comb all the flyaways and loose hairs back into the Tail and we're going to start tinning it up. So I'm going to use two kinds of pins. 
And then it's fine hair, so I'm not going to use the large pins for any of it. I'm going to use hair pins that are these guys that are open at the end. And then I'm going to use bobby pins, which are the ones that are closed. Now, if you have a lot of hair and your ponytail is really thick, I would say start winding the hair pretty tight. But if I do that with Heather, I'm gonna end up with maybe a small bun, and I don't want that, and I blow dry the great inflate mousse in her hair to then give me a, a nicer looking bun. So I'm gonna start twisting it. Not too tight. And then start winding it around. Now, I don't want Heather's bun to stick out like that. I want it to be flat on, on her head. So I'm going to start opening up the bun that I did to hide the other wrap around the second. Then I'm just going to take the bobby pins and open the end and just secure. Side and then top and bottom. So I'm going to slip it in here and put it all the way going straight. And that already starts to fold. Now at this point, if you want, you can start to spray it a little bit and start to get the hairs that stick out to wrap around the bun. Because sometimes the little layers or the hairs that aren't long enough to go reach the head. And then I take my hair pins and I start kind of perfecting the little bits that maybe are sticking out. And if you, when you start putting your pins in, you're gonna go through the bobby pin and it's gonna make these pins more secure as well. So the bobby pins and these pins work together to make a really nice shape. Also, if there's a method to the pinning, you don't have to end up using loads of pins. Shaping it a little bit. And then from the center, start smoothing towards the edges. One last blast. Shove everything into the fold of the bun beautifully. that can dress up an outfit or that you extend your hair wash for another day if you need to or just to look elegant and beautiful and groovy.